All right, my next guest is a vascular surgeon. He's an author and co-founder of World Medical Mission, the medical arm of Samaritan's Purse. After watching his mother-in-law suffer through Alzheimer's disease, he threw himself into researching methods that we can all use to lower our risk of contracting this devastating disease. He's now put all of that priceless information into a must-read book, Defeating Dementia. Please welcome Dr. Richard Furman. Dr. Furman, it is great having you here. Every family in America has been touched in some way by the issues of dementia, more specifically Alzheimer's disease, whether it's a mother, father, uncle, aunt, somebody in their family, I'm sure has dealt with it. So what is defeating dementia all about? One day I read one article about, out of the Journal of the American Medical Association, which opened my eyes, which I hope opens other, the reader's eyes, that they took 1,800 people and followed them for 14 years to see who developed Alzheimer's, who didn't, and then to see, well, why? Well, they found out that the ones that, that ate the worst foods, the saturated fats, the, the red meat, the cheese, the butter, the cream, fried foods, all of that, they were 40% more likely to get Alzheimer's than the ones who ate properly, which we discussed in the book. What, what do you eat? What do you not eat? Then in that uh, 1800 people group, there, there was a group that exercised. 48% were less likely to get Alzheimer's than ones who didn't exercise. That's two of the problems, the food and the exercising, but the weight hmm. was huge. The one, they went back uh, to midlife, the ones who were overweight, kept that way, were twice as likely to get Alzheimer's. The one who were obese was three times is likely. But in your book, you talk about three stages of Alzheimer's disease. What are those three stages? All right. The scary part about it is stage one. There's one protein. They found that this is being deposited 20 years before symptoms. So that's stage one. You don't even know mm. that you're developing it. And the scary part about it is the numbers that people... Americans age 55 to 60, that a third of them have this protein being laid down in the brain, no symptoms. Stage two is from the time you start having symptoms until you become dependent on someone else during your everyday life. The scary numbers on that, 10 to 20% of Americans age 65 have the symptoms of Alzheimer's. Mm. That rises to 50% to when you're 85. Of course, stage three is from the time you become dependent on someone to the wheelchair to being bedridden. And I, I, I tell you, Governor, that's uh, life is gone long before death mm. arrives. And it's such a devastating disease. Of all the things I think I've ever seen, nothing is quite so painful to watch in the life of a person. You talk about in your book, Defeating Dementia, three lifestyle paths that right. you say can really help a person uh, prevent or avoid Alzheimer's. Discuss, yeah. what, are, what are those? These are called modifiable risk factors. Uh, the uh, American Association, uh, Association says that half of Alzheimer's is preventable and 87% of people who have Alzheimer's have at least one of these uh, modifiable risk factors. And that's, again, that's the exercise, uh, the, the food and the weight. To give you a few numbers out of the medical literature, uh, the ones they, they, they took the top 10 percent, the ones that exercise the most, the bottom 10 percent, the ones that exercise the least, ones that exercise the least was were twice as likely to get Alzheimer's. And you say, well, I can't I can't jog, I can't run. So they did a study on walking, multiple studies on walking, which surprised me, but the ones who walked 30 minutes a day, five to six days a week versus the ones who were sedentary had 60% less likelihood of getting Alzheimer's. So that's, that's, the, that's the exercise part so of it. So it's not the most complicated thing in the world to be able to do. You, you go through this in great detail in the book, and I think it's gonna be a tremendous help to so many families out there. But I hope people read it not when they're 65 or 85, right. but when they're 25 
and they can maybe uh, avoid the pathway. Uh, exactly. Great to have you here, and I want to say thanks for writing the book and, and giving real simple, practical help to understand the disease, but more importantly, to try to deal with it. And that's why uh, I think uh, you've done a great service to people. Uh, you can find this book, Defeating Dementia, at your favorite bookseller. You can also get the book and a lot more free advice on living a long, healthy life at Dr. Richard Furman's website. It's richardfurman.com. That's richardfurman.com.